wsg.bmx.beans forward here. I'm just going to show you how to fit a brake to a BMX the right way. Much love people. Thanks for all your comments and all the people who are getting involved in my YouTube channel. Much love. Peace. Right YouTube, let's get started. I've already done the box on the one side. This is the box. Always make sure that so it's got the blue lock tights on. You want that so it don't come loose. We've already done the other side, as you can see. Right, what you need to do, make sure you put this little sheaf on first. Pop it on. If you like me and you're not too bothered, you can just give a little tap like that. See, I'm using that side of the, the mole groups to show down, Rooney. And then literally. Pop it in. Right. I'm going to tighten that up now. I'll be back in a sec. Much love YouTube. Hey YouTube. As you can see, I've fitted the brake bosses on both sides. The next step is to get the one with the thread for this little I don't know, whatever you call it, but it's a little holder. You want the one with the thread, so that holds your brake at the back towards the cable. And all you do is stick it in there, tighten it up. Same with this one. This one's just going to straight through hole, so your cable just stays in place a little bit better. So yeah, right. All you need is an Allen key, and just give it them. Little little tight on. And these have got these have got lock tight on as well, so they shouldn't come undone. Just down out of the tight and just give them a little nip. See, as easy as that. Next step, do the one further up. It's a bit it's a bit figly doing it one handed and holding the camera, but still. The things I go through just to show you. Yeah? Right, so those two are in place now. I'll just give it a final tighten. Don't over tighten it, just make sure it's tight. That'll be the next step. What all I'm going to do is flip my body carver, put my brake lever on, which is quite easy to do. Literally one Allen key, one brake lever. So I'll flip my bike over and I'll show you how to do that. Much love, people. Right, YouTube. Easiest way I find to do is sit on your bike, undo your brake lever, obviously. I like to run a left hand brake lever. I don't understand why always American riders use them on the right hand side. Probably because it's the strongest arm, but yeah. Just find where you're comfortable with the lever and give it a little tighten. You can always adjust it at the end, it's not a problem. I would say you don't have to over tighten things, you just have to make sure you're tight. Up, ready for when I need it. So yeah, let's move on to the next step YouTube. Much love. Next step is to get your brake, to get all the components you need out in a line and then literally see where your brake bosses are. Always start with the left hand side. Put that one on first which I'll do off camera just to show you and then I'll come back and I'll do the right hand side just so you ain't bored for the video much love YouTube peace hey YouTube back again right this is the easiest way I'll find out find to get to put the brake leaves on just make sure you brake, uh, grease the brake boss a tiny little bit I always take the spring out and then just push it on a little bit because these can be tight sometimes and then I literally give it a little tap to start with so 
so yeah, I'm using that inside out flash. And then I'll literally get the cap, put the cap on, and get your Allen K bolts. Screw it down until it, it stops moving. And then literally I'll use the Allen key to compress the brake down. So I'll just keep giving it a solvent. I'm going to make sure to go all the way down to the bottom of the brake box. Hey people, as soon as you've done that, just set the bolt back out and you'll see it's all the way down to the bottom of the box now. So what you need to do is grab this little spring, it's got two little notches, and there's see a little tiny hole there, literally just pop the spring in like that, get the top of it again, and you'll see that it's got a hole on the nut. And you sweep this round so it's on the other side, it's a bit fiddly. But see, just like that, and then you get your Allen key bolts, and it's literally start down it up again, which is a little bit fiddly down with your left hand. I'll get there. See, and I'll just tighten that up. Next step is literally where you see your brake, you got your rubber mount. Literally just adjust it so it's in line with the wheel. And then, yeah, tighten it up. You can either use a spanner or an Allen key for this. But I prefer to use an Allen key, so yeah, I'll tighten that up and I'll get back to it. Next step is to get this cable into your brake lever, which all you do is pop it in like that, and you make sure that it's lined up, pop it in like that, and then just give that a twist and then it'll stay there. And then I'm just going to figure out exactly where I want to thread, thread the cable to get to here, to the back of my finger. So, yeah, won't take long, but I'll show you exactly what I've done after. Much love, peace. Back again, Rose. I figured out exactly where I want my cable to go. So, when you do, the only thing I can suggest is because I asked for an extra long cable, so I still want to help to do bar spins, even though I haven't got a gyro. The best way to do it is put it into your brake spin your bars around and see how much length you actually need and then from here unhook the end and basically see here i've got the cable through literally pull it all the way back so all the way back so you know when you cut it you ain't cutting the cable off so you can push it back through so you just like that it's easy to do and then once you get back up to your brake literally give it a pop back in there push it back in and there you go, job job done basically. So after you've got your cable exactly how you want it, you get one of these little black thingies, you've got to put the cable here, I don't know what they're called, to be honest, it's like a little plastic sheath, and then literally slide it back over the end of your cable. You are got to be this pedantic, but yeah, I like to make sure everything's done wrong, so get to the top of there. A bit awkward to do with one hand, but yeah. Oh, I need you over here. I'm just literally give it a pull. Make sure it's all the way up. Job done. Then literally fridge screw cable back through this end. Actually, now tell it all. Take that back. Next thing you need to do is grab this little adjuster with an hole through it slide it through make sure the nut's done all the way up to the top and then you get your end of your cable slide it through the hole and literally you can screw that into there and that's what your brake pulls against and then that goes into there and it's just a little older I and mean, then you just pull it through and then like that you can adjust that after so what I always do is I always put it to the very end just like so and then I push it and pull so I make sure everything's solid and now I'll show you the next step step is to the end of the cable you need to slide it through this little hole here yeah, that's done literally. 
pop it through and then it should always go underneath like so like that and then pop it up here a sec and just pull it through, pull it through that goes to that end and literally pop each one of those into the end and then you have to adjust adjust it so it all goes tight which I can't really do on camera at the moment it's a little bit fiddly you literally put those in the end and you'll pull it all tight All you have to do is cut the excess off, but like I say, hopefully you can understand what I'm saying from what I've just showed you. Um, I'm going to do that now, but I'll have to do that off camera because it's a little bit fiddly, but much other people, please. There it is. Once you've got it all set up like that, you can adjust everything after. But see these little springs here, you have to pull back against them so it pulls your brake out. So that's what keeps giving you the, the spring release like to keep your brake away from your wheel. So all you do is give it a little tight, not over tight, and just tighten this Allen create key up, and then that's done. So yeah, I'll do that, and then the next side, and I'll, I'll be back. Much love for YouTube, Pete. Last step now, all you gotta do is get a pair of snips, and cut this to level, to where you want it. So I wanna literally cut mine off. Uh, I might, I might cut it, uh, I don't really know to be fair where should I cut it um, I might just give me an extra bit of slack just in case so I'm going to cut it there these snips aren't the best but yeah there you go get that cut and then I'm going to find this little, little black cap Put it over the end, and then literally a pair of mole grips. Slide it over, give it a good crimp. There you go. That brake's working. Let's give it a check. Yeah. So that's how you fit a back brake on a BMX. Much love, YouTube. Peace.